morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whenever you're watching this, just know that I appreciate you. It is a rainy evening in Texas, well, and at least in my part of Texas. Um, today is Administrative Assistance Day. So to all of you wonderful administrative support people, I say what up to you and happy Administrative Assistance Day. And I say that um, from experience. I have been an administrative support professional for over 20 years. Um, yeah, for over 20 years I've done this. Why is my it's going kind of fast here? Um, I've been a professional administrative. Well, I've been an administrative professional, support professional for over twenty years, and I enjoy it. Um, got into it, and I'm sorry. Let me preface this with: I didn't have a topic to talk about today um, but I am trying to get better as I said previously at doing this every day so sometimes it's just going to be me rambling sometimes I'll have an actual topic we'll just see what develops uh, but I got into administrative support because when I had my first child, um, before I had him, I was in, in college. I, I Again, it's raining, so you're going to hear the wipers going. Um, this one needs to go just a little bit less. Goodness. Um, I was in college studying business management. My mother wanted me to go to college to study accounting and become a CPA. Well, in all honesty, I don't like math that much. I don't like math that much. And um, I studied it in high school. And studying it in high school reassured me, confirmed that... I don't like it enough to do it as a living. Now, mind you, I've done taxes. I do taxes for myself and my family, my immediate family members, meaning my husband and I and my three children. That's who I do taxes for. I don't do it for, for do them for anyone else. I don't like it enough to do it for anyone else. I did at one point think about working for H&R Block and decided not gonna happen. So, I was in college getting my prereqs out of the way and then I had gone down to S-I-U-C in Illinois and um, was studying again, trying to get some prereqs out of the way because my focus was going to be business administration. I didn't know what the minor was going to be at that point. I was considering social work, um, but I wasn't 100% sure. Social work or psychology, but I wasn't 100% sure. Just so happens, I got pregnant and left college for a while, went back for a little bit. And about the time that my son was two, I think he was about two, that's when I said, look, I can't work fast food jobs to support this child. I just am not going to be able to do that. And there's nothing wrong with anyone that works fast food jobs. I mean, I told all of mine, you better work in fast food if that's all you can find until you can find something else or work in fast food and discover that you like it and work your way up the ranks. Um, and at that time, I was working fast food. I had worked in a major fast food burger chain not the one with the arches um, but the one with the crown I 
had worked in a clothing store. I worked in retail in a clothing store. Um, I had worked one other place. I can't remember where right now. Um, but my focus was school. And when I stepped back from school, I said, okay, I got to figure out what I can do it's going to support my child and myself because I don't want to stay on government assistance for the rest of my life. Um, I want to have a career that when I figure out what I really want to do, I'll have something to fall back on until I, you know, I'll have something to fall back on or rely on um, until I figure out what I really want to do. And um, I thought about it. And every business needs support. They need either a, a receptionist, a clerk, an administrative assistant, a personal assistant, an executive assistant, an office manager. Every business needs support. Um, just like the medical field will never go anywhere as far as dying out. It will never die out. Everybody needs a doctor, a nurse, a dentist. Um, just like you're always going to need an attorney. And just like you're always going to need a mortician. That was too morbid for me. And I didn't really want to study law. Um, so, and I needed it to be something fairly quick because I was putting down my degree studies, my degree studies and um, putting down work so that I could concentrate on getting this done and I uh, found a school that specialized in administrative support, earned my diploma or certificate they don't they didn't have degrees um, in secretarial sciences they had certificates or diplomas so I earned that and was able to they had job placement so I was able to get um, a position with an attorney through the school and from working with him, I was able to get a, and I only worked with him part time, but he understood that I needed full time funds because I had a child. So he uh, helped me find another part time gig with another attorney. So I had two part time gigs working for attorneys and did that for almost a year I did that Ooh, let me get it together did that for almost a year might have been a solid year um, but before I graduated the secretarial school I found a job with a an apartment complex a high end apartment complex and um, as their resident coordinator resident services coordinator and what that person does is basically support the property manager or assistant manager and is hands-on with the tenants in the building and I did that for a little bit and enjoyed it um, and would have stayed however the company was management changed hands with the company so the company that I started working for um, was bought out by another company and they assured us that we would all have our jobs we would have to worry about anything so I went on about my business at this point I had graduated with my certificate um, I was doing pretty well I was looking at the possibility of um, getting into real estate getting into leasing and, and the real estate and things of that nature I looked at that um, because they told us that we would have our jobs, that we would be secure. So I was like, okay, well, if that's the case, I kind of like this whole real estate deal. I like, you know, what this looks like. 
let me go ahead and start studying real estate. Well, before I could even do some detailed research, we got called into one by one the offices and uh, we're told we were being let go one by one uh, because what the new management company decided to do is convert the luxury apartments into condos and they knew that it was going to take a little while before they did that but they wanted to get things and things people practices in place that led to that so they ended up letting us go uh, one by one the person that I reported to she stayed on a little bit after me not much after me and the person that she reported to stayed on for another I think another six months to a year he was there um, and then he left so and he was fine with leaving he was a sweet guy he was fine with leaving so it wasn't really a hardship for him. Um, but I enjoyed that. And I still enjoy real estate. I still enjoy um, some aspects of real estate. And I still would actually like to venture into that at some point. I did it a little bit later in life, uh, working for a realtor directly, supporting her, showing units, and um, being some admin support for her. I did that as a side hustle while I was working full-time at a convention center. And, you know, being an administrative support professional, I've enjoyed it because I like helping people. I like pulling things together and organizing things. Um, you can't tell, by the way, my desk looks at, at home right now. Uh, but I enjoy doing those things. Um, and it's a steady job. You don't always get the pay that you want but it's never going to go away. As long as there is business, there will be there will be need for an administrative support professional. So I did that, I do that, I still do that. And um, it means a lot to me when you have people appreciate that. So my direct supervisor, the company as a whole, but my direct supervisor specifically took all of us out for lunch today at Papa Do's, and I enjoy Papa Do's. I like it. Um, it's it's great tasting food if it's done right, um, but it's not somewhere that I eat on. I would eat on a regular basis. One because it's not necessarily the cheapest, um, and cheap is not really the word I want to use. But it's not it's not expensive, but it's not inexpensive either. Um, two. It's very, very rich, and too much of anything rich causes problems um, with your health at some point. And three, my husband is allergic to shellfish of any kind, and um, we confirmed that the night that we went to Papa Do's and he had some gumbo, uh, knowing that he was allergic, but he had never had his, you know, as an adult, had a reaction. So he tried it just to see, and uh, yeah, he's allergic. Um, so it's not somewhere that I eat on a regular basis. But we had a good time. We had a really good time. We actually had a client come in and bring us um, a Starbucks gift card and a Starbucks brownie. And I thought that was so absolutely awesome because one we deal with a lot of clients a lot of contractors um, doing what we do as a company overall so we deal with a lot of people and to have at least one of those clients come in and say I appreciate you um, and let me show you how I, how much I appreciate you um, I really appreciated that uh, so yeah we got a little gift card for Starbucks with I think it had 20 bucks on it, he said and a brownie now I'm not a big Starbucks person um, anyway I not just well and with the controversy going on with them now um, 
but since we've been to Texas, I've not been in the Starbucks because the only thing that I really drank at Starbucks was their um, passion tea. Um, but that was so much sugar because I would always, I would get the syrup and when I realized I was drinking too much sugar, I would get it without the syrup and just put some raw sugar in there. And it's good. I mean, it's decent, but it doesn't taste as good as it does with that syrup in it. With the, I think it was the lemon syrup I would get all the time. Yeah. So it didn't taste as good. And I decided, you know what? Never mind. And then I used to go to Starbucks a lot when we were in Chicago because I worked in retail. Um, for a good six months, six, six, nine months, something like that. Six months. Um, and there was a Starbucks in the same uh, mall area as the Burlington that I worked in. So I would go and when my book was, was published, I would go and wait and meet, you know, customers there, let people know, okay, those that live in the western suburbs here, I'm here with my books. I will go and I will write. Um, and then I also, at one point, worked as a personal assistant to um, a husband and wife team. And on the days that I did not have to work for them, I would take my laptop still to Starbucks and do some work for them. Um, just to kind of keep up or I would just I would write or I would study because I was also at the time studying to get my certificate in spiritual counseling so Starbucks did me well while I was there but I'm not a huge Starbucks person um, I'm not a big I'm not a coffee drinker I, I would drink their caramel macchiato and every once in a while I would get the caramel frappe from McDonald's um, but I'm not a huge Starbucks person I do appreciate the card because I will find a Starbucks and I will utilize that card uh, it'll take me a while well, it may not even take me a while to use the $20 because as expensive as Starbucks is it, sh it won't take that long to use that $20 or I'll give it to my husband and say look if there's a Starbucks near you here go grab yourself a lunch or go grab yourself some breakfast um, so you can eat more than one meal a day but yeah so all of that rambling to say happy administrative support professionals day um, I hope that you've had a wonderful day I hope that those that you report to and support appreciated you today and uh, yeah with that peace and blessings remember to walk in your purpose I know that I appreciate you.